All right, welcome to our weekly update on the Australian property market, where we discuss waves, impulsive waves and corrective waves around Australia. There are rumors that there is a huge supply of properties with a long-term listings over in Tasmania. What does it mean for the prices? If you only follow the fundamental analysis, you would think the oversupply will lead to drops in prices. Well, this is why the fundamental analysis is always behind the curve. You can see it in the price of oil, stocks and yes, properties too. Just as I mentioned in the last episode covering the price drops in Byron Bay, if you follow the news, you are already late to the game, relying on the article that it covers drops in a very short section of the chart, while the market expects some huge gains due to the influx of liquidity, courtesy of the local central bank, that by definition is behind the curve. The same applies to Hobart. While you'd think the floor is about to be swept beneath the feet, and the whole housing market would crash since we get bombarded with negative news and the anticipation of another 13th hike in interest rates. In a few weeks time, you will realize that the negative perception was exaggerated. This is why you are here, to look through the fog of information that comes from the fundamental analysis. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing it, since I also believe that Hobart is going to be the first to fall in this battle along with certain suburbs of Melbourne. I'm just letting you know that by looking at the cycle, I can tell we are not there yet. And the fundamentals are not reflecting the broader picture, which involves the incoming flood of liquidity. Therefore, today's chart of the week is covering Hobart, postcode 7000. This video is a response to a very good map provided by the Twitter account Spacus. It shows that the supply of houses is building up and there is not enough credit in circulation to wipe it all up. How is that possible if we have a record high immigration into the country? So what's going on here? Are we going to crash? Well, let's see what the chart says about the cycle. The baseline of our analysis comes from the long-term chart provided by the thread, which clearly states we are at the end of the cycle. Here's wave one, wave two, the wave three ended in 2008, followed by a short correction. Now we're in the final wave five. To get a better picture of what's happening on the ground, we turn to the SQM website, where we analyze house prices postcode by postcode. The chart starts at the peak of the first wave within the last wave five. After a short correction, we had a very slow start to the wave 3, which stretched all the way to July 2016. A short correction and a slow hike up, which accelerated after July 2021, at the height of the pandemic, and finished the larger third wave in June 2022, which is on par with other states on the East Coast. For example, Bondi 2026 ended it four months earlier. Albert Park only one month earlier, while Ash drove 4060 a month later and Fremantle peaked three months later. So there's no major shift in timelines. What's important is the fact that we have already started the final fifth wave of the larger fifth wave. It started in March 2023 and it seems we are about to start pumping the third wave up, which is usually the biggest out of all of them. So expect some fireworks after the final hike in interest rates next week. It's going to be huge, even in Foot Tasmania. We're definitely going to pierce through the previous highs of 1,255,000. Somewhere along the way, we're going to have another short correction and a final spike up that will end up the huge cycle that was spanning over the last 50 years. What's coming next is going to be ugly. There will be no higher highs, no further upward waves 6 and 7, only descending ABC formations. Therefore, if you're a first home buyer, I'd say be very careful what you're getting into as you're going to be stuck for decades with the house that is underwater. And if you're an investor, I'd watch the incoming videos from this channel to find out where the potential peak is, so you don't end up holding a bag. In the next video, I'll try to explain why we should expect another hike next week. 
you don't want to miss it. So if you like this content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, stay calm and count waves.